Reels, reels, reels. Everybody says, that's the best way to get exposure. We have to make more. How do we make them? All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to make timeline presets and export settings I use so you can streamline through those bad boys and get the best quality export so your reels are extra crispy for the gram. Let's start off by creating presets. First, let's open a project and hit Control N on the keyboard or Command N if you're on a Mac. After we do this, this new window should appear with an ocean of presets that you could use, but we're gonna make our own so we know they work perfectly every time. Next, let's hit settings and hit custom at the top section. This is the part that's secret, but it's not so secret after I tell you guys. If you guys want to get the best quality reels, you need to film vertically in 4K and export at 1080. So instead of putting 1080 by 1920 here for a vertical format, we're going to put this as 2160 by 3840. This will create a vertical timeline for you to drop your vertical 4K footage into. Next, let's set this as 23.986 and hit save preset. This will open a new window for you to title your shiny new preset, and I'm gonna title mine Extra Crispy Reels 4K. You can title yours whatever you want, but mine is staying like that. And just like that, we have a real preset. You can create your reels quickly with a couple clicks without searching around. If your camera can't shoot in 4K, you should make a preset the same way we just made this last one, but use 1080 by 1920 instead and export at 1080. It's not gonna look as crispy, but hey, putting out reels is better than not putting out anything. Next, let's make a preset for feed posts. It's the same process as before, so let's hit Control N, hit settings again, hit custom, and here we're gonna put 1080 by 1350. Hit save preset and title it Instagram 4x5. This will create a timeline that will fill up someone's screen fully when you post. You're fighting for real estate here, so the bigger the better. Like I said earlier, the trick to getting the best possible image is shooting vertically in 4K and exporting at 1080. The way I like to do this is by simply clicking the high quality 1080p HD preset, go down a window, and click the video tab and hit match source. This will automatically match the export settings to the settings of your timeline. Hit render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality. Repeat the same steps when you're working on the feed post one. Then just hit export. And just like that, now we have reels for your Instagram. Finally, go to settings, go to account, data usage, and make sure high quality uploads is selected. I really hope this helped you guys out. And if it did, it'd mean the world if you guys subscribed and left a comment and a like too. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.